Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ebook Vlogs. I'm Gwen and I'm Steph. So today we're actually here at Market on Wheels in Bugis Junction. So it's a pop-up event happening from 8 June to 8 July. So let's go check out what they have. Okay, so we've walked around the whole entire market and we actually picked out six stores to feature. So first up is Three Buns. So we actually spoke to the owners and they actually recommended us the chicken and the chopper hound as well as the cheesy cheese fries. Let's start off with the chicken. chicken. So it's actually made of smoked chicken frankfurter as well as smoked cheese on a butter bun. Must use hands to eat. Quiz! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> I think it's really very smoky. Really? Yeah. yeah, it's really very smoky. It's just very, very little of it. I wish there was more cheese. Looking at the bun, it actually looks like a little bit dry, but when you bite into it, right, the ketchup and the mayo just mm. like moistens right. the whole entire dish. Yeah. So it's not actually that dry. It's a buttered toast bun, so I think everything goes very well together. Yeah, I love this kind of bun. Eh. Also, it's very rare to yeah, see this same, same, same. It's very different from your normal hot dog bun. I would say that the frankfurter isn't really super super heavy. I would say it's quite substantial. If I eat the whole thing by myself, right, I actually think it's like just nice. Eh? Yeah, I can finish yeah. the whole thing by myself, I feel. So next up, we actually have the chopper hound. I'm super excited for this. Yes! Because I'm a huge fan of chopper. Yes. This one is actually a 100 gram prime beef. Wow! Honestly, I really really love the addition of the portamello mushroom because like, you know, sometimes when you eat sandwich, you got like onions or other vegetables mm. to give a different texture, different taste. So having the mushroom, right, well, really like gives you another depth of flavour. Because they also added miso butter and also oh, truffle right. oil, mm -hmm. that's why the um, cheese or at least the dressing on top is a lot creamier than that one which is just cheese yeah. and then they torched it. For me, right, I prefer the chicken because I feel like this one is a bit too much. I like this one because I love complex flavours and I love a lot of sauces and everything inside. But I would say both are very good choices also. Okay. Once you look at the way they torch that cheese, ah, I know it's not. We have one last dish from this stall, which is the cheeky cheese fries. So when we look at the menu, right, there were quite a lot of interesting ingredients inside, such as like four different melted cheese, yeah. like. I love cheese! And they have sausages plus potato chips and chicken floss. On closer examination, actually, the potato chips, right, it's actually more like potato skin or wedges. It's a very interesting concept because I've never had potato chips with yeah. chicken floss before. Same. Same good. Eh? You know what? I kind of like thick like potato chips now. Because of this, right? Yeah. It's surprisingly, right? The chicken floss goes very well with the cheese and the potato chips. Wow, like I never imagined that it would go so well together. Of all three dishes, right, I prefer the chicken hot dog. Yeah, it's an all-time favourite. I think everybody would really like yeah. that one. Yeah. Actually, I was most excited about the truffle, truffle hound. I still love the truffle hound, mm. but like, I don't know, just that this combination of like that sweet and savoury and the cheeses yeah. really surprised me. I would recommend all of y'all to get this. <laughs> So next up, we actually had the Swag Social. From the Swag Social, we decided to get their Combo Mambo, which is actually a pretty good like value deal. So in their Combo Mambo, you actually get one grill. So it's either the Yakiniku beef or the salmon mentai. And you also get a choice of fries, as well as a drip bag soda, which is here. The grill, we actually decided to get their Yakiniku beef. And for fries, there's three flavours, the original, truffle as well as garlic parmesan. But since we already had truffle, so we decided to go with parmesan. Right. Right. And for the drink itself, we actually got the adrenaline shot. It actually consists of blue coral, soda and vanilla. It says highly addictive. Eh? It says satisfy your thirst for blood. Uh, must we on this? Honestly, we have never tried this before. I can see why it's highly addictive now because you have no choice but to continue drinking. <laughs> it mostly tastes like cream soda. The vanilla taste is very, very strong and it's not very fizzy because I thought it's going to be very fizzy as you can see all the like fizzy bubbles here. So, as in, I'm not a very big fan of fizzy drinks but this is just nice. It's like a very refreshing drink. Oh my god, your tongue is blue! Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> 
up in the combo, we have their yakiniku beef. So you have the choice of any grill, which is either the beef or the salmon mentai. But we decided to get the salmon mentai as a don by itself, so we'll try the beef first. Maybe because of the cut of meat that they actually use, so this is their rib eye. So I think they actually did it quite well because they actually cut it up small enough so that it's not super super tough. Mm -hmm. But it's still like a little bit of that medium rare kind of pinky right, yeah. centre lah. But surprisingly right, the sauce that they give is so generous eh. I'm like super super happy. So it means that it's not tough, it's not dry. Okay, so next up we actually have the garlic parmesan fries. These fries, they don't have a sauce, so it's just like dry seasoning on top, mm -hmm. which means that they can essentially taste quite dry. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like original fries, honestly yeah. speaking. Yeah. Maybe right. y'all can try um, the truffle oil. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't like any of the toppings at all, then just go for the original. Next up is actually a more filling meal. This is their torch salmon mentai. Mentai ko! I'm so super all... excited yeah. when we saw this on the menu. The chunks of salmon is actually quite big. Yeah. About four or five, six slices actually. Can't wait to eat this. I can taste the mentai ko, but it's not very strong. The salmon itself, right? Wow, the meat is really like super thick. Yeah. yeah. It actually picks apart quite well. So you can see that it's not over overdone or anything. Mm. The cup is pretty much filled to the brim, which is not a bad thing if you're looking for something like satisfying. Among all this, I will actually get the dawn and the drink. Something refreshing to actually go together with. Next up, we have net crepes. So they actually sell both savoury crepes as well as sweet crepes and we decided to get one of each. I only tried Thailand's one because Thailand is known for like fancy food flavours, you know. So for mine, it's actually Milo Nana. It's a mixture of banana and Milo. When I took my first bite, I could only taste banana. But as I continue eating, right, I could actually taste the condensed milk and the banana, but still not the Milo. I think it's because it's overpowered by the banana plus the condensed milk. For their savoury option, we decided to get the seaweed chick. So basically, it's made up of egg, seaweed, mozzarella cheese, and chicken nuggets, which is very interesting. But it's not super dry also because they actually do add a bit of mayo. It's actually a very interesting mix. But that being said, I would say that they are filling their ingredients super generous. So next up from Abra Pau Dabra, we actually got satay set which consists of 10 different satay sticks and it has chicken, beef and lamb inside. And it also comes with 10 rice cakes. And also we got a chendo drink and it's super ginormous. We were talking with the staff and they told us that they really like serving it in XXL cups. Because it's very good for sharing, mm. especially as you're walking around. Shall we start off with the satay? Mine is definitely the chicken. The one with the green tip is the beef. I really like their house-made sauce. Eh. It's very sweet. You can feel a little bit of peanut chunk. Mm. Okay, I'll be very, very honest, right? When I see them selling satay, I'm like, huh, satay? Ah. It's actually quite good, eh? Sometimes the satay is very skinny. This one is generous. So when I was trying to bite it off, it's a little bit tough. But when you bite into it, it's still quite soft. Oh, actually mine is fine. For the chicken itself, it's very, very tender. You don't need a lot of effort to bite it off. I would say there's a bit of like spice at the back of your throat. Okay, we should try the rice cake. I just would say it's quite well made left. Like after you eat the 10 satay, right, and then you left with like the cucumbers and the rice cake, then you will actually feel that it's a very nice whole set meal. Moving on to the chendo. Initially, right, we wanted to get the chendo with durian, but they ran out of the durian one, so I guess we have to stick with the chendo one. It feels like a coconut drink. At first, I was really very scared that it would be super sweet. But this is not the case. It's still quite milky, more towards the coconut right. fragrance than like artificial sweetness. I'm not a fan of chendo. And after trying this, yeah. I wouldn't mind drinking it as a drink. This is lighter compared to your traditional chendo right. just because they don't use coconut cream. Walking around this whole entire papa, this store really shouts to us. Like literally. Sate! 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 Fast. How many? I would say this is my favourite. It's big portion. Yeah. I feel like it's very different from what we actually tried outside. Next up, we actually have fries cross fries. We actually have three different fries in this whole bucket which consists of spam, the original and sweet potato. Yeah. Among the five sauces, right, we actually got the wasabi mayo as well as a super spicy Thai sauce. We are going all out for you guys. Yeah. Okay, let's try. I have a slight obsession with sweet potato fries and this one is actually not that bad. Like you can still taste the sweet potato filling inside and still a little bit crunchy on the outside. But I like the spam a lot though. And this tastes like a Korean spam. Now right, the fries itself is so good. I don't know how it tastes like with the sauce. I dip a lot. I legit like... Oh. It's really spicy. I'm not kidding. This is living. Ah! I only recommend this sauce for people who can eat 
very spicy, spicy stuff. Yeah. It's numbing my entire mouth already. <laughs> I can review the wasabi mayo. It's not that spicy. It's not even that much of wasabi actually. Overall, right, the fries itself is really worth the money. And it's a whole bucket of fries. <laughs> Ending off with somewhat sweet note, this is from Serial Citizen. Serial Citizen is actually opened up by Bong Chu Chu mm. and they actually have a physical store as well which sells different types of cereal. Over here, they seem to be specialising in somewhat of like a crow nut but they call it crow dodo. This is basically a croissant and donut together lah. Over here, we have curry with crow dodo. Oh wait wait, like, curry? It smells like a very familiar kind of local curry. Let's try. Oh. It's very soft eh. When you bite it, it's right? super juicy and it's super easy to chew off. But can I just say something? As compared to it dipping with the sauce, there's a lot of difference. Yeah. It's quite tough. <laughs> I'm proven wrong again. <laughs> it really didn't look that appetizing, okay? It has a lot of that flaky layers, so it absorbs liquid very well. This is like a deconstructed version of a curry puff. I'm very, very surprised. Ending it off on a sweet note, I can foresee this being pretty sweet, which I would actually fancy. I'll try this first since it's my favourite. It's not very sweet. Yeah. It is a bit like an Oreo chocolate. It stays very true to its Oreo flavour. I think most of the sugar just comes from maybe the cream. Shall we try the fruity pepper? <gasps> if you have a sweet tooth, you'll like this. Which I think you might think that it's a bit too sweet. <laughs> With the colo dough, icing, and then fruity pebbles, it makes it a very nice sweet dessert. The reason why I'm not looking forward to it is because it looks very dry. I think this is the reason why there's icing there. When it's inside your mouth, it melts and then makes everything softer and smoother. It's a good pairing lah. You can bring your kids here and I think they will enjoy this a lot. If you don't really like the sweet stuff, you can also try the curry. You get both savoury and sweet with the sododo. Okay, so we've come to the end of the night. Which was your favourite dish? It has to be the satay. Honestly, I've never tried such a tender chicken satay before. Mm. Everything is in XL size and I feel that it's very worth. Well, on top of that, I feel that Serious Citizen was not bad. Because they had the kododo, yeah. I've never tried it before. And it has a lot of local like, feels to it because there's like a curry with a kododo. Yeah. Without a doubt, my favourite dish has to be the cheeky cheese fries. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, from Three Buns. The combination of savoury and sweet was amazing. Second to that, my runner-up has to be the Swag Social because I really love their Salmon and also their combo mambo is actually really very worth it. Eh? The yakiniku beef was super addictive, and then yeah. the fries, the drinks also not bad. Other than the food, there's also a drinks promotion happening. And it's actually one bottle for eight dollars and five bottles for thirty-five. You actually save one dollar each bottle. So if you are here, why not just get the beer? I've never actually been to a pop-up event near a shopping mall. It's just outside Bugis Junction. I always come by this area, so I can feel myself in this coming month. Definitely bring a lot of my mm. friends here just to check it out. There's even live music happening. Apparently, they show the World Cup 2018 live screening. So do check out their Facebook for more details. Thanks for watching this episode of Ebook Vlogs. For more, you can check out over there. And also remember to like, share, subscribe. See you next time! <laughs> we are done.